Welcome, I'm Aliki. I'm here to help you upgrade your energy. In this video, we're going to learn the truth about what unconditional love is and the three steps you can take to experience it fully. Many people believe that unconditional love means loving someone no matter how they behave towards you, how they feel about you, not expecting them to love you back, not expecting them to treat you well, not expecting anything. But tell me, if you are sitting at home and you're loving someone fully and not expecting anything and not caring about how badly they may treat you or if they love you or not, is that high vibrational frequency energy? Do you feel this amazing, uplifting energy that will shoot you into the sky and make you shift into a, a complete abundance and manifestation of everything that you want? Is every cell and every fiber of you saying, wow, I'm so happy to be alive? No, the high vibrational love unconditional love is transformational love it is the love that causes true manifestation love is that which created creation itself creation uh, flows in love and love flows in creation love is not just one thing unconditional love is itself um, constantly transforming constantly up constantly reaching even higher frequency and higher vibrational energy the more people the more of us that feel love the more you connect with unconditional love and experience it and feel it for you and for all the more love itself evolves. It is ever changing, ever expanding. It's not just set. This is unconditional love and that's how it is forever. It itself is expanding. It itself is learning. It itself is upgrading its energy. Unconditional love is the love that flows in all. It is deep within you. When you discover the you, the blueprint of you, that true, true you deep inside your heart, when you discover that, the first feeling you feel is happiness. And happiness it can be something that just makes you move forward in a completely different vibration because it has high vibration. But it is love that shifts you into a completely new life. It is love that breaks down those walls that maybe you've built in keeping yourself in, keeping yourself protected. Maybe that you built out of guilt or shame or fear, anything low vibrational that made you maybe close yourself off and close yourself off from you, from parts of you. When you experience that love for you, that's when all of you transforms. That's the transformational energy because that's the creation energy. That's the highest vibration and highest frequency of feeling that you can have. After that, it's oneness. After that, it's truth. It's not so much feeling. It's not emotion as love is the transformational shift that we're all waiting for is not something you should be waiting for. It's something that you move into when you not only believe in you and believe in truth and believe in love, it's when you know who you are and you know all of you and you know who and what you're capable of the divine you when you know this that's when you love this that's and it's that love that will transform every cell and every fiber of your being and that's the huge shift the shift isn't something out of us it's not a solar flare coming from the sun externally it's from the sun in you, the sun that is 
within you, the inner sun, the central sun, the central sun in your heart and in your core, in the heart and in the core of all. If you are one with all, and all is one, and one is all, are you not all? You are all. And so if you discover you, and you see the connection of you to one, and that you are one with all, and you to all, then when you love you, you love one, and you love all, and that will shift you into the life that you dream of. That's the shift. When we first started speaking in 2012 of the big shift, we were all waiting for something to happen. Um, I was waiting for um, my true love to come, the one. I was expecting him to come, and as soon as he would come, everything would change. We would transform, and everything would happen, and it'd be a beautiful uh, dream. But it'd be true. And it was amazing, and I believed this, and I believed it. It's not someone that's going to come. It's not something that's going to come. It's you. It's you when you realize who you truly are, and you forgive yourself fully, and you know yourself fully, and you love yourself fully. And that's the key, loving yourself fully, all of you, all of you. That's when you shift. You shift by loving yourself fully. And that will cause an explosion of light, like something you've never imagined like something you've never seen. And you can ask me, have, I, have you experienced it yet? No, I haven't. I'm still in the feeling of happiness of being. And that's amazing. So what is unconditional love? It's love for you. It's love for one. It's love for all. For you are one with all. <laughs> And you can't love just one person. You can't love just one thing. I can't say, oh, I love this forest. Of course I love the forest. And I love this tree and that tree. And I love my dogs and I love me. And the other people can be further out. But no, it's loving all and looking at all through the eyes of love because you realize what love is, you realize your connection to all, and you look through eyes of love to all. You speak with the voice of love to all. You act through the vessel of love to all. You act and create with love. You speak with love. You think with love. You think through your heart you see through your heart, you feel and you create through your heart. That is unconditional love. And it's not conditioned on who or what it is that you're facing because you know that it's all one. And that doesn't mean it's all one soup that you've thrown everything in together and it's all one big, same thing. No, it's not the same thing. It's all connected. It's all flowing together. It's all got the same source energy. It's not like one pool has one source energy and another has another. No, it's one source energy. The energy of light, the energy of love, the energy of truth. And the deeper in we go, the deeper we connect, the more this expands outwards. It's about going deeper and deeper into you, deeper and deeper into truth, deeper and deeper into love, that the more this comes outwards, the more love you discover for you, the more love you have for all that is around you. Now, what are the three steps in moving towards experiencing love? Number one, 
Look at you with eyes of love. Look into your heart, look into your core, and see who you are. Feel you, see you, know who you are. Discover this, and it can be a step-by-step -step process. It can be an ongoing process, and be okay with this. Enjoy it as you move forward. Number two, look at those around you, at all around you with eyes of love. No matter what is happening, look at them with eyes of love. Speak to them with a the voice of love. Create with love. Do everything you do with love. <laughs> Number three is to feel love for all of you, for every cell and every fiber of your being. Feel love. Feel like you are embracing yourself with love. Actually feel this. Do this with your heart, that you are embracing all of your being, all of your existence, all of you. And then have that feeling move outwards and feel yourself embracing all of existence, all of it, all of creation, all as one and one as all and embrace it and move outwards again so it's an embrace towards you and a moving out an embrace of all and a moving out an embrace of all creation and a moving out again thank you so much for watching if you want to watch more videos like this please subscribe and like so the movement goes inwards outwards inwards again and outwards and inwards and outwards